Here we have an array of spill cleanup materials. We have pillows, we have socks, and we have pads. What's important about items such as these is that you know what they are used for even after you have removed them from the original packaging. This particular one tells you it's for chemical spills and indicates this side up. This side is the smooth side, and this side being the absorbent side. Once you take these out of their original packaging, it may be hard to tell what they are used for. Not all of them have instructions written on them, but if you know the smooth side typically goes up and this absorbent side goes down, that will help. Again, this side is smooth. This side is rough. You would apply this pad like this on top of a liquid spill. What these types of pads are great for are containing vapors, including flammable vapors. You could spread several of these down on a spill and you would be able to contain the flammable vapors. Again, these are called pads. This item is called a pillow. And this one happens to say what it is used for. It says, absorbs oil and repels water. Pillows work well being placed under a pallet or using them under machinery, wherever chemical is spilled. But again, if they are not marked once they are out of their original package, you may not remember what they are supposed to be used for. This is called a spill sock or boom. This is intended to be placed around a spill to contain it. You can put them in a series and they come in a variety of sizes. The key is that you practice with these items before using them. Practice in a safe environment before ever using them in a hazardous environment.